Hi everyone, Hamish here. So today you probably noticed it's a Tuesday and we usually do our videos on Thursday, but this one can't really wait. Now, obviously we're running a Samsung SSD giveaway at the moment and the winners will be announced for that in Thursday's video. But our friends over at Samsung were also like, hey, do you maybe want to show the Ingon community something new that we've been cooking up? And today we get to show you that for the very, very first time. This is the new X5 Thunderbolt 3 portable SSD that Samsung have just announced. And you know what? We're gonna go ahead and open this up and take a little look inside. So the first thing I noticed with this is that it's pretty small and light. I mean, my hands are not the biggest, but that's a one terabyte SSD that I could fit in my pocket super easily. Samsung will tell you if you read their press release that it's actually modeled on a supercar. And I mean, I mean, it's got a bit of an Aston Martin vibe going on. So if that's your kind of thing, but if I'm gonna get excited about an external hard drive, it has to mean something for my day to day, right? And the best example I can think of of when we needed a really fast external hard drive is at E3 recently. We actually had to record these segments over at the convention center. So we'd run over, record for about half an hour, which is a very, very large uncompressed video file to handle. We would then take that file, render it down to something more manageable, put it on an external hard drive, and then get it into our live production software. Anyone who saw that stream will know we were very, very pressed for time, and something like this would have given us a way bigger buffer. Some of the file transfers we were doing would take upwards of 10 minutes, and that was cutting it pretty fine. At least for me, having one of these in our toolkit would have been a huge help, and if we were to do a similar type of production in the future, I'm definitely taking one of these with me. So with the sequential read and write speeds on this one being listed at 2800 and 2300 megabytes per second, respectively, it sits at about 20 to 25 times faster than your regular external hard drive. There's also a couple of safeguards in here to keep it running smoothly. It does say that you can drop it from up to two meters, but I'm not gonna try that. There's a couple of things we're also doing to keep the heat down in this. There's a heat sink, a mechanical thing to keep those temperatures down in the way that you would expect. But the dynamic thermal guard technology that they have will actually fluctuate the read and write speed. So if it does start peaking, it'll drop the temperatures by dropping the workload. And then once it gets down to safe levels, start picking it back up again and all that sort of stuff. So there's technology in place to keep the hardware working properly, but there's also something that needs to be talked about as well. We actually did a video on this recently, which is data protection. How do you keep your data secure, especially with an external hard drive that you might be taking around the world with you, you might be taking it into a cafe, someone might swipe it. How do you make sure that your data stays safe? The cool thing with this is Samsung have actually bundled that software to make it a bit easier. So it is gonna be pretty hard for people to steal whatever it is you keep on your hard drive with the AES 256 bit hardware encryption that they've got going on there. So if you do like the look of this drive, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you need to make sure that whatever you are running it with is Thunderbolt 3 compatible. And if I'm being honest, I don't personally own or have at my house anything that can run this type of device. And it took me a little while to find one here in the studio. But before I head off, there's one last thing I wanna do with this drive and it's give it a little bit of a workout with Crystal Disk Mark. So let's do that. So 2790 is pretty damn close to 2800, which is very, very nice because I always feel like, what if it goes horribly wrong? It's gonna be super awkward if I'm like, it's 2800 and then it comes in at like half that. That would be super awkward for everyone. Maybe read and write speeds on a lightning quick external hard drive isn't something that you're really that worried about. But like I said before, it's something that could help in practical applications if you are doing those types of super large file transfers or you just wanna to brag to your friends about how quick your external hard drive is. That's a, that's a thing, right? So that's gonna be all for our quick Tuesday video, which I don't know if that's gonna be a recurring thing. If people keep throwing stuff at us that they want us to check out, then we'll do that. But we also have a giveaway running for the 860 EVO and the 970 EVO M.2 drive and SSD drive. If you haven't entered that just yet, there's a video up there that you should go check out. There's a link in there and you could get your hands on these. We're gonna be announcing the winners for that giveaway on Thursday and then talking about the one that we'll be running for the next month. Spoilers, it's that. Okay, we'll see you all really soon. Bye.